I know is so explosive. Welcome, Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee. It is January 15th, 2015, and we're here on climateviewer.com slash harp on the harp page. We're going to do another harp um, update. So uh, let's talk about what the main purpose of harp is. Above all else, what is the single most important thing you need to know about harp? They're trying to destroy the Van Allen belts. I know that sounds crazy. It sounds absolutely phenomenally crazy. It is 100% true, and I'm going to prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Watch this. So if you scroll down on the heart page, you're going to see that we have a research timeline of uh, space weather modifications, so you can get up to speed on all this. And over on the sidebar is a table of contents with a bunch of articles about HARP. We're going to focus on radiation belt remediation today. Now, this right here is called the tether panel recommendation. Use HARP facility in Alaska as a wind tunnel to determine the feasibility and engineering specifications of a mitigation system. Mitigation system for what? For killer electrons in our ionosphere. Now, there are several different radiation belts around the planet. They're called the Van Allen belts. And um, these things fry satellites. And they really don't like their little satellites fried. So they have been um, basically, you know, trying to suck the electrons out of the sky by pumping uh, electromagnetic missiles, um, EMIC waves, uh, Shear Allen, Shear Alvin waves, uh, magnetosonic waves. These are very low frequency, ultra low frequency, ELF frequency, um, you know, uh, vibrations <laughs> that are pushing electrons out of the sky. When they push them out of the sky, they come down and they form artificial aurora. The aurora borealis is the natural form of this. Electrons race in from the, <clears throat> from outer space and, uh, they form the aurora borealis and australis and that is natural but what we are doing now with these ionospheric heaters is using electromagnetic radiation from high-powered microwaves to push that radiation out of the ionosphere and that sounds that that you know i could i could almost stomach that idea of just trying to suck out some of that starfish prime upper atmospheric nuclear explosion leftover material that's up there um and you know and, and try to make it, uh, you know, safer for the guys in the space station. But that's just crazy. So let's say you don't you don't believe this is real. Well, this paper, that, that picture you just saw there, comes from a satellite threat due to high-altitude nuclear detonation at the Eisenhower Institute. And uh, Mr. Papadopoulos is giving the presentation. And as you can see through here, Dennis Papadopoulos, University of Maryland. You want to know about Hart? Read about this guy. Anything he posts? It's liquid gold. Um, and then you, you scroll through here, and what you're seeing here is um, they were basically trying to say that, you know, upper atmospheric electromagnetic pulse, the stuff you saw on the TV show Revolution, when they took out all the power, if you were to explode a nuclear detonation above the planet, the electromagnetic radiation, the EMP pulse would come down and take out all the power. So that's a concern. Um, the Heritage Foundation said that two-thirds of Americans would die within six months if we lost our power. So yeah, uh, it's much worse than the TV show Revolution. And their solution was to possibly use um, these, these ionospheric heaters to suck that radiation out. So if somebody were to set off a nuke in the sky, that hopefully they could turn on the ionospheric heaters and suck it out. This is how they're they're trying to sell this to the military and to the um, to the the government. So here's your Van Allen belts. We have an inner radiation belt, and then we have an outer radiation belt. And generally speaking, our satellites are in this donut hole in between. Now, this inner radiation belt that's that's prime real estate, baby. That's like beachfront property. But they can't put satellites there, and they would really like to. So why not instead of just trying to suck these MEV electrons out of the sky. See here, starfish prime high altitude burst. By the way, it created um, a inner radiation belt and it burned up these satellites. 
seven satellites destroyed within seven months after that. And um, so their idea is let's let's suck it out. But what if what if they went even further? What if they said they were going to just outright destroy um, the Van Allen belts? That would be crazy. Unfortunately, that is exactly what they said. Um, over here, this is my latest article up on climateviewer.com. This was posted January 1st, 2015, and it's called Ionosphere Keters Are Destroy and Destroying the Van Allen Belts. And uh, this was originally posted uh, under the title, Could We Save Satellites and Astronauts by Wiping Out the Van Allen Belts? Yeah, so they go on to talk about how it's real dangerous. Here's a video from the Apollo series where they say, oh, by the way, the Van Allen belts aren't dangerous. Which is it? Are they, they a major risk, you know, to satellites and, and people out in space, or are they not a major risk? Regardless, um, here's the quotes. It's really mind-boggling to think there could be a human control over such huge volumes of space on Earth, we control nature all the time, like building dams, but the prospect of doing it in space is fascinating. It seems a bit like science fiction, <laughs> except they're actually doing it. The result would be a little bit like auroras, although you wouldn't see them. They say one radiation clearing strategy involves the, using very large radio transmitters on the ground to beam very low frequency waves upward. These can, in principle, interact with the scatter charges in the radiation belt and drive them into the upper atmosphere. And he says it would look a little bit like aurora. Like I said, that's called artificial aurora or air glow. Here is a picture above the harp facility of an actual air glow event. That's a real one. <laughs> This is a tiny one. Now, um, and it, this is from observation. Hey, you can read it. Um, let's not get too dorky. So anyway, um, this is Dr. Stephen Bortnick, and uh, he goes on to say some even crazier stuff. However, it's the protons in the inner uh, belt that scientists have really recently explored. Um, getting rid of them would potentially open up valuable new orbits for satellites and make travel safer for astronauts says Maria de Soria Santa Cruz pitch. Um, okay, so there's our real reason for why they're doing this. It would open up valuable new orbits for satellites in that inner radiation belt. Yeah, it's all about that dollar. Um, and then uh, let's go down here. I'm going to finish up with some of these quotes for real quick. Pitch also found that to disperse all the protons from the region, you'd need a million 15 meter antenna operating antennas operating for a few years so a million 15 meter tall antennas operating for a few years and they could suck all the radiation out in that neat um, at present we don't think there is any downside to not having them but as with all things geophysical, it's hard to know all the complex interconnections between various systems and estimate the full effect on removing the radiation belts completely. And that's the most any of us can really say at the moment. Now, this guy, I don't know about you, but he looks a little chiefed. I mean, he looks a little high. I mean, you must be high, dude, to say some crazy sh stuff like that. Um, so in, the, in a nutshell, they're literally talking about can we destroy the um the van allen belts not just suck some radiation about you know some radiation out of there do some radiation belt remediation no they have moved on to f it let's destroy it at present we don't think there is any downside to not having them the van allen belts this is about as crazy a weather modification scheme as i've ever heard um, and this is global. This affects everybody on the planet. So when people are out there trying to tell you that Harp's uh, steering the jet stream, why don't you point out to the fact to them that uh, it's trying to destroy the Van Allen belt. And uh, that's a bad thing. Let alone the fact, the fact that it is also messing with your mind from elf generation and they're all going on boats. So... That's our video for today. I'm not going to try to make this too long. I think it's long enough, and the references will be in the details. All of this is available at climateviewer.com slash harp, and knowing is half the battle. 
Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. Love you, mean it.